Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Well, if you joined us an hour or so ago uh, on KTTC News, you, you probably saw a little bit of that sunshine. We had actually an hour or two of it just after sunrise. It's a bright, glorious scene to start the day. Really nice in the weather patio. Now, this image you're looking toward the bell tower from CC Heights it looking, it is looking a little gray. Unfortunately, I think we're going to see a lot of that today. Very little in the way of sunshine, but a warm, muggy morning. Uh, here's a live look outside just a couple minutes after 8 o'clock on this Wednesday morning for our Gualta Group camera um, on a CC Heights. A light south breeze, 67. The temperature on our way to the upper 70s to around 80 degrees. Now, if you missed it, yesterday was officially the first 80 degree high temperature in Rochester. We reached 81 officially at the airport. Uh, and, uh, well, we may not do it again this week, but I think if we don't do it this week, we certainly have many more opportunities to do that in the upcoming week because we do have some changes ahead of us. Warmer air will come in next week after a brief lull that occurs over the weekend, which is kind of nice because we've had some unsettled weather. We've had some very soggy weather in some cases this week and some stormy weather the next few days after today. And well, really even tomorrow morning, look a lot better and a lot drier, a lot sunnier, less humid. If you're tired of the mugginess already, we get a break from that uh, by the weekend. But today, another muggy day. We are looking at a gray picture with a chance of showers, a few thunderstorms later on. But the severe weather risk, very small today. It looks like, uh, for the most part, non-severe storms expected. Those coming in after about 3 or 4 o'clock this afternoon, lasting into the evening hours. Right now, though, we start the day with clouds in place, 70s uh, in some spots already, uh, which is not far from the average high temperature for this time of the year, giving you an idea where we stand right now. Temperature is pretty warm and a little extra mugginess in the air. 67 the temperature in Rochester, Winona, and Austin 70, and 67 in Charles City. Uh, dew point 64 here in Rochester. Again, that's a measure of the humidity. You get in the 60s, you really begin to feel it, especially without much wind. And uh, that certainly is the case this morning, air pressure on the rise between storm systems. So uh, maybe a few breaks of sunshine, but not really any of that evident right now. But there is a chance in the day planner. Showers, a few thunderstorms, by around 3 or 4 o'clock. I have 79, sunset 842. We are looking at a couple of showers to our north and west. Those will hold on northwest in the area from Clark's Grove up toward Red Wing, even uh, toward Cannon Falls and uh, Northfield and uh, maybe even Kenyon. A couple of sprinkles and brief showers here this morning. For the most part, we wait until later this afternoon. We're going to see that high-rise future track with that chance of rain. But the system is stalled to the west, slowly working its way through. There are two fronts, one coming through today, another one for up in uh, Montana. That comes in tomorrow. Brings us another uh, first half of the day, anyway. Chance of rain for our Thursday. A couple of showers, and then watch the afternoon hours. More widespread scattered showers, a few thunderstorms. But nothing as intense or severe as we had yesterday. Not as much of the heavy rainfall, even, uh, for the afternoon here for our Wednesday, but it will be unsettled nonetheless. Morning showers tomorrow, and then some late day sunshine, kind of a breezy, less humid feeling afternoon tomorrow, highs in the 70s. By the time we get to Friday, the weekend, they're talking not just cool, but uh, unseasonably cool. Temperature is actually running around seven or eight degrees below the seasonal average, and overnight lows in the 40s heading into the weekend. But here's future cast, looking at some of these spotty showers in northwestern parts of the area, and then by the afternoon and evening, more widespread showers and thunderstorms with that storm system as it moves through tomorrow morning rain, then some afternoon sunshine, a breezier situation with less humidity uh, in place. And then uh, on Friday, another breezy, cool day, highs in the 60s. Uh, today, look for 70s across the map, warm, humid weather, maybe a break of the sunshine with some showers and thunderstorms, light south breeze. Uh, talking the upper 70s today, 79 the expected high here in Rochester, uh, which is uh, about uh, 6, 7 degrees above the seasonal average. Uh, for tonight, after this uh, late, uh, late day shower and thunderstorm round of activity tonight, some storms possible, but just generally light rain for the most part, 64 tonight. And then uh, looking at uh, mid 70s tomorrow, Showers, then some afternoon sunshine. Uh, northwest winds 10 to 20 miles per hour. The seven day outlook. The weekend looks fantastic, especially if you're into that uh, crisp, cool weather, maybe almost like this little uh, band of, uh, of summery days we've had recently. I think we're jumping into fall a little bit here with the, some of this weather for the weekend, but it looks fantastic. I mean, if you were missing some drier weather last weekend and you were hoping for something, uh, here you go. I mean, it, it looks fantastic. Makes up for a lot of what we have seen recently. Uh, next week, isolated shower and thunderstorm chance Monday into Monday night, then Tuesday, and really the, the middle section of next week 
warmer than average uh, for that first stretch of June days. We're talking mid 80s by next Tuesday, and I think that's indicative of the type of weather we're going to see in the long run for next week. In the meantime, uh, we are going to enjoy uh, some quiet weather here this morning, but the afternoon looks maybe a little wet, some showers, a couple of thunderstorms, and uh, not much in the way of severe weather concerns. So it does look like things will be better in that regard. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, have a great Wednesday. We'll see you back here on Thursday morning.